Can CT scans cause cancer? Well, according to an article published in Helio, regular diagnostic CT scans can cause as much as 5% of all yearly cancers. This is, of course, quite shocking because we use CT scans routinely to diagnose issues, right? But we got to keep in mind, there's a lot of radiation that is used here. It's different than an X-ray. There's significantly less radiation than an X-ray. A CT scan gives, of course, a much more detailed view of the issue we're looking at, right? It gives you sectional views and it uses a high amount of radiation. Now, an exam that we sometimes do that does not use radiation but uses a magnetic field is an MRI. However, an MRI is usually better to uh, look at soft tissue, whereas a CT scan is much better to look at calcified tissue like bone, for example, right? There's overlap, of course, you know, and a skilled radiologist can use either technique and get enough information usually, right? But I think this is something that is very important to keep in mind. A lot of times when we, you know, do routine exams or we diagnose something, you know, we also can cause problems, right? And that's something that we really, really have to be careful with. So it's probably a good idea to only use CT scans diagnostically really when it's necessary. And if it's possible to get the information from an ultrasound or an MRI, that should probably be the first line and better method to do the initial exam. Now, keep in mind, there's a cost issue as well. A CT scan is a lot cheaper than an MRI scan. So that should certainly factors in as well, and it shouldn't. So uh, keep that in mind. Again, a routine CT scan may cause problems. There's a lot of uh, things we do on a routine basis to diagnose that can also have negative impacts, and it's important to be informed here, right? A chest X-ray and all these things, that's a lot less radiation, of course. And again, an MRI is a magnetic field and an ultrasound also does not use radiation that is really harmful, right? These are techniques where we can do imaging without exposing the person to high amounts of radiation, of course. And uh, again, when, whenever we treat, there's also the issue of causing other issues. And we know this, for example, with chemotherapy, right? Chemotherapy is used to treat cancer, but the treatment itself may also cause cancer. So there's always this back and forth. Are these good treatments? We should really be critical and evaluate these and see if there are safer alternatives available or start with treatments that are much less dangerous, of course, right? So whether it's uh, diagnosing or treating, there's always risk involved. And we should be informed about it and we should make decisions for our patients of what is the least invasive and the least dangerous diagnostic modality and treatment modality that we can use.